Hi friends, this is Laura, aka Lulu Sketches, and today I'll be answering your assumptions about me. I asked you guys to send your assumptions over on my Instagram, Lulu Sketches, and you guys did not hold back. And yes, you can safely assume that this video is sponsored by Squarespace, and I sure as hell will tell you more about that later. Let's get started on these assumptions. First assumption, you miss your work at Disney. I miss some of the people I work with at Disney, but as for the work, I prefer what I'm doing now. I'm doing visual development, so I get to do a lot more now. You like sushi. Yes, I love sushi. You've run a marathon. No, I've never run a marathon. I was on cross country and track, and I still run long distances, but I have no interest in actually running a marathon. When you make coffee, you don't heat the milk with the coffee. Uh, I don't, I don't use milk in my coffee. If I did, I would use cold milk to cool down the coffee. You genuinely love so bad it's good teen drama edgy shows like Riverdale. Riverdale is not my favorite, but I do love Teen Wolf and Vampire Diaries. So kind of like Riverdale with supernatural stuff mixed in, so yes. You don't like oil painting. Painting with oils, I enjoy, but the whole process of setting up and using turpentine and then cleaning up after, just so much harder with oil paint versus a water-based paint. You love anime, hell yeah. You're a Gemini. I am a Gemini, but people hate Geminis for some reason, so I, yeah. You work long hours often either on my full-time job or freelance or personal work. I kind of work nonstop. I'm a bit of a workaholic, so. You're a very chill slash relaxed person. I, I, am, I am not chill. I have no chill and I don't know how to relax. You definitely have OCD. Uh, um, I've, uh, I definitely have some OCD tendencies, but I've never been diagnosed with OCD. You're vegetarian. No, I'm not a vegetarian, but uh, I don't eat red meat. I just stick to poultry and fish. You love Dream Home Makeover on Netflix. Oh my gosh, yes. There weren't enough episodes of that show. You and your husband were friends before college. Nope. You're planning to get another dog. I actually applied for another dog, but I didn't get chosen, so. Most likely because I live in an apartment and I don't have a yard. Hopefully someday I'll have a house with a yard and I can get a bunch of dogs. You're rich? If I were rich, I would have a house. I'm rich in friendships. You're tiny, like 5'2 or 5'3. No, actually I'm like 5'6, I think. You have multiple candles for each season. Hell yes, I do. You're a hardcore Zelda fan. Yeah. You have a lot of clothes. Yes. Too many clothes? No. Just enough. Christmas is your favorite holiday. Oh yeah, you're very organized. Yes, I love organization. I love the container store. You have popular girl handwriting. <laughs> no, my handwriting is very scratchy and loopy and I usually just write really fast. You wanna get another dog and give Mabel a friend. Yes, I'm trying, I'm trying Mabel. Your favorite dessert is ice cream. No, I don't like ice cream that much. My favorite sweet thing is French toast. It's basically a dessert or cookies. You felt awkward and dorky in high school, but you feel more confident in yourself now. I think that is true. You spend a lot of your time drawing. Yeah. You like boba? I've actually never had boba. I know, I know. So many people said that I'm shy in person. Uh, no, I'm very outgoing in person. You're a perfectionist when it comes to your art and sometimes you are hard on yourself. Yeah, you're an outgoing introvert. A very accurate description of me. Quick pause so I can tell you guys more about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I only take sponsorships from brands that I personally use and love. I've been using Squarespace for my professional portfolio for over a year now. I love it. Squarespace makes your portfolio look really professional. They have really clean templates that are minimal, that really put a focus on your art. Everything is super customizable so you can make your portfolio fit your style. The templates look great whether they're viewed on a desktop or mobile device because you never know what device someone's going to use to view your portfolio. They might just scroll through it on their phone and you got to be ready for that. Plus, the automatic image scaling is a game changer. My paintings are all different sizes, but they automatically fit together into a nice collage on my portfolio. Also on my portfolio, you 
have the option to scroll through these auto scaled images or you can click and view one at a time closer up. I have a discount for you guys to start your own Squarespace portfolios. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lara Price for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And I'll put that discount link down below. Now let's get back to the assumptions. You grew up in mostly white, non-POC environments. I would say that's accurate. I'm from Southwest Virginia, a very small town, and it was a lot of white people. You married your first boyfriend. No, I didn't. I had a few boyfriends and then I met my husband. Having worked at Disney is a big flex for you. Not in real life. I do use it on YouTube for clickbait, but working in the industry, everybody's worked at every studio, so it's really not a big deal. You are tough to work with. Oh, I hope not. No, I, I am such a people pleaser. I'm probably pretty easy to work with. You're a health freak, gotta eat healthy, stay active, and look fit. Yes, I am a bit of a health freak. I try not to worry as much about the way I look, but more so, like how much weight I can lift and how far I can run. And I try to eat a lot of nutrient dense foods, but I also try to just eat foods that I enjoy. You make more money from YouTube than your full-time job. No, I don't make that much money from YouTube. You were super popular in high school. <laughs> No. I was never invited to parties or anything, but even if I was, I probably wouldn't have even attended. I was super into academics and sports. You struggle balancing work and everyday life, but you put up with it because you love what you do. That just cuts to the core. <laughs> that is so true. At some point in your youth, you had a boy band poster on your wall. No, I don't think I ever did. I had a poster of Robert Pattinson on my wall. Again, you were the popular girl in high school. Guys, I was in marching band. You're a coffee addict. I just started drinking coffee a couple years ago, but yes, that's accurate. You seem like a person who would bring cookies to work to share with others. I have done that, but it was banana bread. You have your anxiety under control. Anxiety is just kind of a lifelong battle, but I'm definitely coping with it better over the past few years. You're a kid at heart. I would say that's accurate. Yes. You love noodles and poodles. I love noodles. I don't know where I stand on poodles. You love to eat avocados. Guacamole is one of the best foods to exist on this earth. So yeah, I love to eat avocados. You take on way more projects than you have the time for. Yep. You don't like cats. A lot of people said I don't like cats. <laughs> I guess I just put off that vibe. I don't love them. Mostly I just don't, I don't like the smell of cats. I enjoy other people's cats, but I would never get a cat of my own just because uh, the smell and the hairballs and the fact that they like walk on your counter and stuff and the claws. I'm a dog person. I assume you'll hook me up with a job at Disney? No. You don't like pineapple on pizza and you're wrong. Excuse me, I'm in total agreement with you. I love pineapple on pizza. You spend a lot of money on clothes. You're very confident about your work. No. It's a love hate relationship with my art. I have like no confidence in the stuff I create, but I really enjoy creating it. I'm always just seeing the mistakes and seeing the places where I can improve. You love your new job. Yes, I do. You hate the beach. This is from my friend Pete. He knows I hate the beach because I don't like sand, I don't like sunscreen, and I don't like getting sunburned. You applaud Mabel every time she so much as farts. <laughs> That's accurate. And that's all the assumptions I have time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye.